Wolf, oh. where are we going right now? Are we going to... The Lego store. The Lego store. What'd you get? Boba Fett. Boba Fett. There it is. Baba, Baba, Baba the Fett. <laughs> is that Baba the Fett? No. <laughs> Boba Fett. Boba Fett ship is completed. Highly recommend. It's a good build, right? Welcome to the monthly update. I love Lego, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> so what makes February a great month, despite it being probably the coldest and snowiest month, at least here in Chicago, is that it's my son's birthday and we get to buy Lego. Lots of it, not lots of it. We get to buy Lego and build Lego. It's so much fun. All right, well, let's talk about projects we did in February. We get to work with Mundelein Seminary on a really awesome and unique video. So doctors, when they're going through their school and training, they go through a simulation process which allows them to work with trained actors in a controlled environment in scenarios that they'll be presented with. And it's a really safe space for them to learn and grow and know how to speak and talk uh, in these really high pressure situations. Well, priests, there are spiritual doctors and Mundelein Seminary does something very similar because priests are in situations like doctors in hospitals, with patients that are dying or close to death or family members that are experienced death or just any sort of tragic or traumatic experience and you'll see in the video that these priests, they talk about the experience of it and how valuable it is for them. Because despite it not being real, if it appears real, they act real and the experience feels real to them. It's just a way for them to grow and learn to really be the best priest that they can. And so just so grateful to, well, Matt Paolelli, good friend of mine uh, at Mundelein Seminary for allowing us to work with them on this really important video that helps train priests to be the spiritual fathers they are. We know the Eucharist is the source and summit of our faith. And we're working with the USCCB on the Eucharistic revival. So for the next three years, the USCCB has set aside time to show how important the true presence of the Eucharist is. So we're working on a number of videos that showcases that. Now these are narrative stories. It gives us an opportunity to really craft every part of the story. Where in documentary, we show up with cameras and just capture things as best as we can. Narrative, we're able to touch every part of you see on screen and be very intentional about that. So everything to the location, like in this, we had to go to, we wanted a, like a high rise office setting. So we found a space that wasn't an office, but we made it an office and we got to craft every detail that we saw in there. Things that made it feel like a real true working environment. And the cool thing is it's not just a tell a story to tell a story, but it's to tell a story to show the true presence of the Eucharist. So with these videos, it's a call for bishops to inspire their diocese to a deeper understanding of the true presence of Christ in the Eucharist. These videos are being done nationally, but they're being distributed locally. Okay, what was your favorite Super Bowl commercial? Mine definitely was the Doctor Strange trailer. I love Marvel stuff and just seeing some, well, seeing the, the tease that. We should tell him the truth. The X-Men might be introduced with Professor Xavier was like, all right, I'm on board with this. So we'll see where the movie goes. But anyways, let's talk about football. Well, really, let's talk about the chaplains of the NFL, a Catholic priest that's there to serve a team. These NFL chaplains have really inspiring stories. Oftentimes they had a desire to be in the NFL or to play football professionally, but God called them to something else in their lives and they were obedient to that call. But God has a funny way of working because he'll, he'll often call them back 
And so some of these had, who had a desire to play or coach football, then became a priest, then were on teams that won the Super Bowl and have Super Bowl rings. And so it's like, all right, <laughs> you know, for a priest to have a Super Bowl ring is is a pretty incredible, and not not very common whatsoever. So. If you like football and you like Jesus, you should definitely check these out. We did them on the uh, Tampa Bay Bucks. We did them on the, on the Colts. Oh! Come on, Reggie! I told you to run a button hook. I did, Leslie. Okay, I guess you would know. And also the Kansas City Chiefs with uh, our good friend Harrison Butt Kicker. <laughs> Butt Kicker. But if you follow him on Instagram, his Instagram handle is Butt Kicker. Awesome guy. Another great, very strong Catholic and probably the best uh, kicker in the NFL. I digress. These NFL Chaplain videos are really fun, really inspiring, and if you like football, you gotta check them out. All right, that's been February. Lent's around the corner. Do you know what you're giving up? I still don't. I usually figure it out the morning of Ash Wednesday. <laughs> are, you the, are you the person that gives something up or adds something to? Maybe you're both. I'm trying to do something that maybe just adds something to. So until next month, we'll be praying for you. We'll probably still be in Lent. Lent's all the way. We don't got Easter until April this year. Join the Poco Poco, uh, this Lenten journey. They're going through Born of Fire, a really great book that just they just put out through Blessed is She. So pick up a copy of that book, read it, listen to the Poco Poco podcast, and have an amazing Lent. Store. The Lego store. The Le oh gosh. Oh, my poor camera. This is my first time vlogging. Are you I'll show you. Lauren's my favorite. <laughs>